Hey guys, Xiaopin here. In this video, I wanted to show you this new thing that I got. It's a cassette tape recorder and I got it from my grandpa. It's from 1988 and it probably hasn't been in use for like 20 years or so. So I wanted to make a video where we're going to use the recorder feature here to record uh, audio into the tapes and then back into FL Studio and see if it adds anything to the recording and just explore how it goes. So in case you wondered, we're going to be recording on these things and they look really pretty and you can record multiple times on the same cassette. You just rewind it back and record again and it's really cool I gotta say. So yeah. Let's do it. So I've got my acoustic guitar, I've got my zoom recorder. Okay, so now I have inside of the studio uh, my guitars and I'm going to start recording them. So let's start by turning it on. And now I'm going to send into it my acoustic guitars. And I want to make sure the volume is okay. So I'm going to start recording at a lower volume like this one and let's see. As you can see the volume is fine. And now when we rewind the tape, we can listen to our recording. So I'm going to rewind it. And I'm going to let it play and record inside Edison. So as you can see, it started playing. And it's recording. Okay, so after recording the guitars and everything, we have uh, a very basic track. So it sounds like this. And it's built out of our electric guitar, acoustic guitar, some MIDI drums, a bass line. and a synth solo. The synth solo has some low notes and then some high notes. And then I sent them all to tape and the results are here. So let's start with the electric. Now let's hear the acoustic. And then we have our bass. And as for our synth solo, you can see we have the same hiss and you can see that the low notes are much lower, lower in volume. But the high notes are pretty much the same. And now for our drums, so the originals sound like this. And then after some post-processing, mainly adding reverb to the guitars and uh, some compression to the drums and stuff, we get something like this.
which in my opinion sounds a lot better than this. So even though the effects of the tape can be very noticeable, they add some liveliness and some dynamics uh, that can really shine in a finished track uh, inside all of the layers and give it some extra warmth, extra high-end hiss. It's pretty cool in my opinion and I think I'm going to keep using it uh, in other productions as well. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. For more content, make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram as well, and check out my playlist on the channel for other tutorials, track breakdowns and my music as well.